Studies show uterine cancer incidence rates among black women have risen. A recent study about the possible link between cancer and hair straighteners. Researchers finding women who use chemical hair straighteners may face a higher risk of developing uterine cancer. Hey friends, I'm New York injury attorney Kyle Newman, and in this video we're going to tackle a huge mass tort lawsuit being brought against some of the largest beauty and cosmetic companies in the world including L'Oreal. So if you want to protect yourself or your loved ones from the nightmare of a cancer diagnosis, please watch this video until the end. And if you or a loved one has ever developed uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, fibroids or endometriosis after using or applying hair relaxers or chemical straighteners in the past, you're not alone and I'm here to help. So product liability cases like this that deal with ordinary consumer products are typically sparked by medical research. And on October 17th of 2022, the Journal of the National Cancer Institute published a study which found that women who used chemical hair straighteners and relaxers may have a higher risk of developing uterine cancer. The research data used more than 33,000 women who were participating in the SISTER study, which was a large ongoing study looking for risk factors for breast cancer and other health conditions in women. The findings were shocking. Women who reported using hair straightening products were almost twice as likely to have developed uterine cancer than those that didn't. And women who had reported frequent use of hair relaxers and chemical straighteners more than four times in the prior year were found to be two and a half times more likely to develop uterine cancer. So as you know, many women use hair straighteners and hair relaxers. And these hair products help to change the natural texture of someone's hair by breaking down the bonds in the hair that give it its natural shape and texture and then reforms it into a straighter pattern, typically by applying heat using a hair iron. Now, these hair straighteners can be found in the form of creams, lotions, serums, dyes, or even sprays. What most women don't know is that most of these hair relaxers or straighteners contain something called formaldehyde. You may have heard of it, which is known to be a human carcinogen, meaning it has the potential to cause cancer and is recognized as an endocrine disrupting chemical or EDC. EDCs are chemicals known to interfere with the endocrine system and can cause adverse health effects such as developmental problems, reproductive issues, breast cancer, and hormone-related cancers such as uterine or ovarian cancer. So you may be wondering how these harmful chemicals actually enter your body and disrupt the hormone system. And the answer is pretty simple. When you apply hair relaxers on your hair and scalp and then heat it through these hair irons, chemicals are then released in the form of fumes which are inhaled by either you and also the person who may be performing the hair straightening treatment. A second way for these toxins to enter your body is through the hair and scalp. These chemicals can seep into the scalp, penetrating it and resulting in a disruption of your hormone system. Also, the fumes can be absorbed by your skin and can enter directly into your bloodstream. After the research findings became public, many women started to file lawsuits against the manufacturers who failed to warn them of the hazardous effects of these chemical straighteners. And L'Oreal was right on the top of the list after a 32-year-old woman had, who had been using chemical hair straighteners since she was about eight years old actually sued the manufacturer claiming that she had developed uterine cancer after years of use of these hair relaxer products and this poor girl ultimately had to undergo a hysterectomy to have her uterus removed after being diagnosed with uterine cancer. Another alarming stat from this research study is that black women are actually at a higher risk to develop uterine cancer from these products because unfortunately, black women feel compelled due to various society standards to use hair relaxers to get straight hair, 
which to a certain extent can be attributed to TV and social media exposure from a very young age. If you happen to be a victim who used hair relaxer or straightener and you were injured, you can file a claim against the manufacturer. But to do that, you'll have to gather as much evidence as possible, such as your medical and treatment records, as well as records that show that you use these products for a prolonged period of time. And that would include things like receipts or photographs of the straightener products that you used. I know I'm throwing a lot of information your way, but if you've been injured by hair relaxer products, it's important to speak with an experienced product liability attorney right away to help you navigate through this complex process. And if you'd like to read more about these lawsuits, check out our blog on the topic to familiarize yourself with more of the details, and I'll paste the link in the description below. All right, so this is attorney Kyle Newman. That's a wrap. My passion here is to bring justice to the victims of personal injury, medical malpractice, and products liability lawsuits. So if you've had any questions regarding accidents or claims like these hair relaxer lawsuits, please make sure to ask in the comment section below or reach out to me directly and I'll get back to you with my best recommendations. Until then, stay safe out there and I'll see you soon.